Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and today I will be doing part two of how to make a better clicker simulator So yeah, okay, so the first thing you want to do is go to replicated storage add in a folder rename this to remote events and add in a remote event and rename this remote event to click added and then we are going to go into the script for the click button should be right here so we go into the script for this and we are going to want to copy this right here and then we can delete it and we are going to replace all this with game dot replicated storage dot remote events dot dot click added colon fire server and we can just leave it like that and we're going to go into server script service add in a script and server script service and in here we are going to do game dot replicated storage dot remote events dot click added dot on server event colon connect function and then we're going to put player right here and then we can paste in our script that we had before and now whenever we play once we're in the game if we click our points will go up still but when we leave the game and join back our points will stay at the same amount that they were before now we need to make it so whenever we click it adds one point over and over depending on whenever we click or however many points we get depending on a rebirths so we are going to add in a frame and we are going to rename that to plus click and we are going to take this frame and you can either put it here or down here depending on where you want the clicks to add up at i'm going to put it down here because i want them to fly out of the mouse button so you're going to select that frame resize it to however big you want the range to be so i'm going to make it a bit smaller than this and move it to the center of here and bring it up a bit like that and then we are going to change the background transparency to one and now we just have nothing there but what we want to do is add in a local script and before we do anything with that script we're going to add a text label and we are going to change the size to 50 comma 50 we're going to change scaled to true we're going to change text to plus one we're going to change font to fredoka one and we're going to change background transparency to one and stroke transparency to zero and stroke color to white and now we have a plus one like this and we are going to rename this to plus click once you have it named you're going to put it in replicated storage and now we can go into the script under the plus click frame and in here we're going to do click equals zero and local player equals game dot players dot local player this will get the player for us and local rebirth rebirths equals player dot leader stats dot rebirths and now we are going to do local clicks equals player dot leader stats dot clicks and we are going to do while wait while wait do if click if click is not equal to player dot leader stat or no we can just do clicks if it's not equal to clicks dot value then local random 
equals math dot random one out of one thousand and then local x new equals random divided by one thousand and local new equals game dot replicated storage dot plus click colon clone and new dot parent equals script dot parent and then new dot position equals udim2 dot new x new out of zero x new comma zero comma one comma zero and then we are going to do new dot text equals plus one and then if rebirth dot value is greater than zero then new dot text equals plus dot dot two times rebirths dot value and then we are going to go down here and click equals clicks dot value and what this does is selects a position on here and makes it so that it goes to that position and then changes to the text to plus one but if you have more than one rebirth then it changes it to plus however many clicks you're getting so it would be two if you had one rebirth and then four if you had two rebirths and then this changes clicks click to clicks that value and right here we to detect if it's off at all so then whenever there's more clicks than there is click then it will bring it up okay so now we want plus click to fade out and go up so we are going to add a local script in here we're going to do wait and then script dot parent colon tween position udim2 dot new script dot parent script dot parent dot position dot x comma zero comma negative zero point one comma zero and then we're going to do another wait and then we're going to do four i is equal to one comma twenty do script dot parent dot text stroke transparency plus equals 0 0.5 or 0 0.05 and then we're gonna do script dot parent dot text transparency is e is plus equal to 0 0.05 now this will make it slowly trans more transparent while it goes up and this is where it goes up we're going to want to put a wait up here so it waits until the player is in the game and then we also need to put a wait down here and now if we play if we click you can see there's plus one going up across the screen and fading out slowly and yeah that is going to be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.